Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, enable mobile hotspot and explain all of its settings on your Realme GT2 Pro, but it also works the same way on a normal Realme GT2. So in order to do that we'll need to go to our settings. Now your uh, connection and sharing and then personal hotspot. So here you can enable it and customize its settings. So there's all two other ways you can actually enable your personal hotspot uh, easily. So the first one is actually here. You just go one step back and you can enable it here. The other one is to scroll down your toolbar and then uh, go to the next. You will need to find it somewhere here. Uh, you might have it in a different place in this toolbar, but mine should be located in the next step and it's personal hotspot right here, which we can enable. But now let's go back to the actual settings. So we're gonna press on personal hotspot and hotspot settings. Now we can change the name of our hotspot. So it will appear in the, with this name on our other devices. So let's call it um, real spot, like that. The next option is a security certificate and I would recommend using VPA2 and or VPA3. So in this case, I'm just gonna pick both. <laughs> And the next step is to pick the password for our network and it needs to have at least 8 digits, so let's make it simple, from 1 to 8. AP band will uh, depend on uh, the, your speed, speed of your network and reach of your network will, will depend on AP band. And um, when you pick 2.4, your speed will lower significantly, but the range will increase. When you pick 5, the range will decrease but the speed will be significantly better. So let's pick the 5 one. Now the other setting is to visible on the other devices and if you enable it, your hotspot will be visible on other devices on Wi-Fi networks. And last setting right here is Wi-Fi 6 hotspot and you can use it if, uh, but first make sure that uh, other devices actually support this because if they don't, they won't be able to connect to this network. So if you have any issues uh, with other devices connecting to your network, um, you might consider disabling that. So let's disable that, press OK, and we can go back. So here, next option, connection management, and you can see how many devices are connected to our mobile network. Right now it's zero because nothing is connected, but if we press on it, we'll reveal more settings. And we can see the blacklist and here are the phones that you've added to the block list and they won't be able to connect to your mobile network. You can change maximum allowed connections uh, from 1 to 10. Um, let's pick the 2 option. You can restrict the specific amount of data to be used on this mobile hotspot and uh, I'm just gonna go with unrestricted because that's I think the good one for me. Um, and the last option is to automatically turn off personal hotspot when no device is connected for 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that because why would I waste the battery if when, you know, when we don't have any connection. So now I will bring up our, my another phone and we'll be trying to connect to this mobile hotspot. So here's my phone, uh, sorry for the light like this. And now we can try connecting. Make sure that personal hotspot is enabled. You can connect via QR code. So you can scan this uh, QR code, but in order to share it, you would need to enter password. Or uh, in this case, it wanted to verify my face. But let's just connect manually normal way. So right here I have Wi-Fi enabled and you can already see our little hotspot, real spot. So in order to connect to it, we'll need to press uh, on it and then enter the password which we just, which we just uh, changed. So it's 128, very simple, press connect and as you can see, we're connected. And that's it for this video, hope you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave a like and a comment below.